Okay. Okay, um... Let's just poke around the Luminous really quick, just to see if we can trigger one of the, uh... One of the Mystics to fight. I've already done the Light Magic quest, which is sad, because I love doing the Light Magic quest. And it's doubly sad, because sh I prefer Shadow Magic. Oh, so um, something I was going to mention earlier is that uh, one of the things that I'm going to be doing somewhat soon is I've got an Amiga CD32 on the way. And I will be streaming that thing because that's going to be fun. Um, it's coming with a couple of games. Oh, here we go. That was easy enough. This is the end. My only friend. The end. Uh, you are in for a world of hurt, dude. I don't think the last guy lasted two rounds. Oh, you've got counter fear. What? We haven't gone back and rested. Okay. Well, fine. We'll just flash fire. Triangle kick. Um, give a Celis a vitality rune. And let's just Sylph. Twenty six eighty three, not bad. Twenty four twenty seven. Ew. Don't spore at me. Wow, really? Cake walk. Okay, um, Sora. Might as well Starlight Heal Rouge. Um, let's let's stick with uh, punching style attacks, because I just have that one thing one thing left to learn for Green Super Combo. Um, and let's give you a Vitality Rune, and give you a Brain Crush. See, that's how you're supposed to do a brain crush. Another spore. And it was an okay game. Not worth throwing at me twice. Ectoplasnet. Okay, so looks like Thunder could use a little bit of healing. Some sexual healing! Oh, you don't have any left. Okay, well, let's uh, feel it up. The table crumble. Energy chain. And you can self-heal. Ew. Dang, you got more hit points. Not doing a lot of damage, but you got more hit points.
Oh. That just straight up murdered her. Okay. Um yeah. Just keep going with Asura. Able crumble. Energy chain. Bring White Rose back. Yeah, I know. It's just kind of weird that he's not doing a proportional amount of damage to me, too, though. Did she just learn how to specifically dodge spores? Let's play it safe and just oscillate from a distance this time. Energy chain. And I think she needed... Yeah, she could use some more healing. Level 2 combo! I think that's it. Yeah! Classic. Vitality raised. Dwarf rune, huh? <laughs> GG. I am so far from GG, it's funny. <laughs> Lady Acellus defeated the third pursuer, but the next mystic was truly exceptional. You are awake, Princess Lion. Hey, there's some pixelated titties for you, Max. <laughs> yes, my lord. My blood is boiling. A half mystic Acellus and our white rose. I'm afraid Seattle won't be good enough. Are you going? I exist only to serve you, Lord. Yes, hi, Siren. <laughs> Besides, White Rose, she's my sister princess. I don't understand why she's disobeying you. No one's stopping you. Go, Lion. Dude, what is it with, like... Characters named Lion being just exceptionally sweet on the eyes. Like, Final Fantasy XI Lion? She's my favorite. Okay, let's go ahead and... Whoa, no, no. Hold on. Before we save, let's go back to Shrike and rest. Okay. <laughs> See, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm going to uh, take a mini nap so it can keep working. Rest well, Lesterov. Thanks for dropping by. There we go. Now let's save. Okay. Oh, wait, that's right. I, uh... Let's see here. Alright. I promised Max a trip to see some bunny girls. Let's go to Baccarat. Yep. Badly translated, but Kowloon, Hong Kong, basically. Okay, Baccarat. Mm 
It's one of the few places you can hear that whole track. There we go. There's one behind the counter. Unfortunately, you can't gamble here. Come on! This will bring you good luck. Oh, let's let's get out of the way here so you can see that again. Here we go. There you go, Max. That'll bring you good luck. This casino is owned by the gnome. The gnome? So you come here if you're going after the arcane magic. But because the arcane magic is the opposite of rune magic, and I already have the gift for rune magic, I can't do the arcane magic quest. But I will in one of the other later ones. At the very least, for blue, because um, blue can learn all of the magic. Well, after he merges with Rouge. Oh, sh spoiler, sorry. <laughs> oh, there's another good luck kiss. Lots of different colors of bunny girls. Ba -ba -ba. Ba -da -ba -ba. Mahjong at a casino. <laughs> okay, there we. <laughs> I was wondering about that. I never lose at Mahjong, but the the this. <laughs> awesome. We're finally on our vacation. Thank God. Please, anything but a three. Yeah, fuck those threes. Don't let him win. Just let me win. I kind of like the idea of a roulette floor. That's kind of awesome. Oh man, this is so exciting. Is that friggin'... That's Tri-Edge! Oh my god, Tri-Edge is in <laughs> Saga Frontier! Can't talk to that one. No good. <clears throat> hey, I got new wheels. Want to go for a ride? No way. I don't blame you. Enjoy your stay. Employees only. Okay, so that's as far up as we can go. Bam, ba, ba, ba. give one more uh, bunny girl kiss for the road. Oh, oh, there we go. This will bring you good luck. Oh yeah. Here we go. Um, yep. So the entrance to uh, the dungeon here is in the parking garage, but we can't really go in it right now. So we'll just head back to Kurong. Now we've gone through the uh, the casino with the bunny girls. Let's go to um, what would probably be Max's second favorite place, and we'll check out the liquor shrine in Yorktown, or Yorkland. Which is here, if I remember correctly. Or is this the swamp? 
This is the swamp. But the liquor shrine is on the other side of the swamp. What's funny is you actually have to get drunk to uh, um, pass through the swamp and uh, approach the liquor shrine for the uh, Cup Arcana quest. Okay. White Rose. Ah, I forgot to give you a special thing again. Uh, well, let's just do that. Um, I forgot about that attack. Fortunately, we're not entirely boned. Because they have equipment to protect them from water attacks. <laughs> Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Horses are great, aren't they? They walk on all four legs. It must be lots of work. <laughs> this whole town is a no-smoking Well, yeah. Can't be too careful of fire around here. We didn't have all this sophisticated stuff when I was a kid. I wonder if my liquor tastes better than Grandpa's. The day I was born, Dad bottled the best grapes to make wine. We're going to celebrate my 20th birthday with it. I can't wait. That's actually kind of an awesome idea. Like, bottling some wine when your kid is born and then sharing it with them on their 21st birthday? Holy shit, that's cool. Y yes, thank you, Mr. Horse. Dad eats snacks with me every night. He says that he needs something to munch on. Now that we've got twin girls, I guess we've got to give up the liquor business. I want to open up an all-natural juice place. I want a donut shop. Okay, girls. Well, have both. Have a donut shop that sells juice. Keep away from me while I'm drinking. What do you want? Oh, well then. Hi there. Been drinking? <laughs> want some rye? Course you do. <laughs> we only make liquor medicine here. It'll cure any disease. Drink to your health? But y yeah. Well, responsibly. Nope, nothing interesting in here? Okay. What does sake taste like? Want some? Oh, there we go. Of course you do! This cellar's been around 300 years. That's 300 years of brewing passion in each drop. I'm just an assistant. Any ideas for a new kind of liquor? Traditional stuff's too dry. How about something sweet for a change? Tourists love anything made with fruit. How about keeping the alcohol level low so they can drink as much as they like? Yeah, it's worth a shot. Don't blab this to any other sellers. Traditional tastes fine, but we need something new. Something exciting. We're trying to come up with a whole new liquor. Have you tried rubber balls? <laughs> oh, that is such a 
shitty old grade school joke. Uh, or middle school, I don't know. Oh, you're not going to talk to me because I'm not on the quest. My wife's not from Yorkland, so I've got to make sure she makes decent liquor. And the public shower right in the middle of the square? I don't know. This barrel isn't ready yet. Ugh, this stuff tastes horrible. See? Didn't I tell you it's not ready? Why can't you wait? Sorry. Well, I guess I do need to get through there to uh, wherever the... To get to the liquor shrine where the dude is supposed to be. Let's go explore some more. <clears throat> um, oh, the green sage apparently is the strongest of the sages anyway. go to Omi. Go to the Lord's Mansion and see if uh, one of them is there. And then after we check that, we can continue on to Nelson and grab a couple more gold ingots to sell in Kurong. doesn't say where in the Lord's Mansion that it would be. Hey, Miss Artham, you want to come on an adventure? Oh, you're not there. Okay. down there again. Okay. Well, we'll just leave. Alright. Let's go to Nelson. Do, 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 do. Which gets its own special flight music when you go there. Because, yar, it's a pirate port! Ah, this is the shop. Okay. Hmm. Warlord armor is tempting, because I don't think any of them have... 
Yeah, 30, 20, 23, 17, 30. Well, that'll be something to shoot for. I love the skeleton dancing with the... Like... Yeah, shake that clavicle, baby. Okay. Let's buy up all the gold ingots I can. Do, 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 do. Head back to Kurong. Doo -doo. Oops. It says I need to at least get in a, a, a battle or in at least one battle to trigger another one, which I have gotten into one battle at least since the last Sage fight. Maybe I should go poke somewhere and get more. Okay, so we want to sell gold. And what we're going to do is we're going to sell enough to get the price below zero, keep going, and then bring it back up. There we go. All the way back up. And now it's at 1120 instead of starting at 520. So now we bring it back down to 520. And now we've got we started with 13 gold ingots, we've got 13 gold ingots, but now we've got almost twice the cash. Oh. No more dew. Time to hydrate. Do a dance, huh? There we go. Little Acellus dance for you. <laughs> or we could do this. I'm a kitty cat, and I dance, 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 and I dance, dance, dance. <laughs> this cat goes on for miles. Just, <laughs> just kind of cat begins, cat continues, <laughs> cat ends. <laughs> You're a good sport, Teary. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Where where can we go to try to find a sage that we haven't been yet? Uh, I think Wakatu can potentially have a sage. Yep. All right. Let's check out Wakatu, because I also think it's easy to get in a fight there. Wakatu, what should we do? Oh, I need Jen in my party, damn it. And he won't join my party. That's right. Okay. Um...
Shingro Ruins. Let's head there. I'm doing pretty good, Zeke. I had a good day. Got to play some Tetris Effect. I've been looking forward to that for a long time. Yeah, I haven't been yet, been to Shingro yet on this uh, playthrough. Bum bum. Whoops. Okay. So we want to go to not the palace. We want to go to the ruins. There we go. Dawn. Ew, you're an ugly mofo. Ah, oh, and I forgot to fix White Rose's stuff again. Ooh, what's Tiger Rampage? Hang on, that sounds awesome. Locomotion G. All right. Ow. Stop it! It's already dead! <laughs> we always said Feon had some repressed emotions that he had to get over. Well, how about now? He's not repressed anymore! Some sort of, like, slug worm thing. I don't know. Okay. Dodge powder. Okay. I mean, it wasn't that bad of a movie. Um, right. Okay. We need to give you... Uh, some sort of... Dang, even Sunray isn't good. Uh, yeah, just give you the Shadow Dagger. Ah, good! Have you played Saga Frontier 1? I like Saga Frontier 2, but I prefer Saga Frontier 1. Also, if you really want to make Saga Frontier 2 a lot easier, get one of these. Uh, this is the Pocket Station, and it is perfectly compatible with the U.S. version of Saga Frontier 2. You can ha There's a little digger minigame that you can play on there to get free items that get imported back into the game. Okay, you, I need to clear out your list a little bit. Throw move that stuns enemy. Well, we need to keep Babel Crumble in there because that's part of the Dream Super combo. Um, let's take out Ogre Run. There we go. <clears throat> Leave some space. Oh yeah, Centipede Crush. They remastered Saga Frontier 2 for the PC? I did not know that. Hold on. There is nothing about it on Wikipedia being on anything other than the PlayStation. <laughs> Dude, if, there, if, if it's something that I'm just missing out on, uh, go ahead and post a link in the chat. I, I won't be upset, because I'd be interested in seeing that. I, I've got it for the PlayStation, obviously. 
but uh, that would be kind of interesting to to look at. Um, centipede crush. What do I want to sacrifice for that? I could probably sacrifice Wind Blast, because I've got Gale Attack. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> Romancing Saga 2. Okay, yes. It is the same series. Um, loosely. Uh, and Romancing Saga was a, uh, Romancing Saga 2 was actually a remake of the Super Nintendo game. Um, it was Romancing Saga Saga 2 and Saga 3 on the uh, Super Nintendo. I still haven't seen Tiger Rampage. Got to got to have a look at that. And we'll just self it. Haha! <laughs> Deflected. Oh, it's not going to survive this. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, we don't have to absorb anything quite yet. Celestial Leather. That's something to look into. <laughs> You know, it's kind of odd. I haven't played any of the Romancing Saga games. Um, they remade... They, they did Romancing Saga on the PlayStation 2 in the same engine that they used for Unlimited Saga. Um, but I haven't played Unlimited Saga... Or I haven't played another Saga game since Unlimited. It left that bad of a taste in my mouth. It was awful. If you like the Saga games, don't play Unlimited Saga. It will ruin your experience. <laughs> um, let's see here. There's something I wanted to do, and I can't remember what. Alright, well, we'll just quick save and see what we come up against. Do, do, do. Ha ha! Dodge. And it was all for naught. Okay. Well. We still haven't seen Tiger Rampage yet, so maybe we can still have a look. I'm not going to put everybody on def on defense just to do it, but... What? You missed? Well, whatever voice it was that told you not to pick up Unlimited Saga, it has served you well and you should continue to heed its advice. It's a beautiful game, but that's pretty much all it's got going for it. The gameplay is weird. And, like, they intentionally made it incomprehensible as kind of a look at us, we're hardcore gamers, her, her, her. There wasn't a fact on game facts for that game for years after it came out. There's still not much of a presence of, for it online, because it's just so bizarre. There we go. Now I might get to see that Tiger Rampage. In fact, let's also take a look at Centipede Crush. Ooh. Bah. Slash. All right.
Dude! Okay, that's awesome, but it takes eight, me eight, eight weapon points, so I'm gonna have to use it sparingly, but I'm keeping that around. So, the way the game works is kind of like a board game, almost. Where you just kind of move your pieces and you um, uh, select stuff to do from a menu. So, like, if you enter an, a room, you'll have the option to go to another room, or uh, you might want to uh, like search that room. The battle system is based on reels, like uh, slot machine reels. So it's entirely possible for you to select an attack and not have it go off because for that particular round the reels decided that it was going to give you most spots to be a miss command so yeah um kind of awful oh wow heat bazooka nice Yeah, it, kind of. But the, the gameplay itself is... Like, the... The RPG... Or the, the, the battle system still looks kind of like Saga Frontier and Saga Frontier 2, where you've got, you know, enemies here, enemies here. You can do combos and all of that. But it's just, you know, after you select your attack... You could even... One thing that I did kind of like is you could select the same person to take five turns in a round. Instead of giving each person your, in your team a turn. That I kind of liked. But that's one of the few things I liked about it. Um, give me a quick moment here. I did give it a little bit of a review couple months ago on my YouTube channel. One sec. There you go. I did a, uh, a feature a couple months ago on PS2 games that came out uh, before the Square Enix merger. There were only like a couple that weren't Final Fantasy games. So it ended up being Saga, Unlimited Saga, Driving Emotion Type S, and The Bouncer. Um, more kidding. <laughs> All right, hold on for a sec, Zeke. Let me finish this fight, and then I'll go hunt down a cat. Um, yeah, let's just focus on that unknown thing because those things are annoying. Ooh, can I centipede crush both of them? Yes, but that would suck because it's kind of a crappy ability now that I learned about it. Um, yeah. Let's just silk it. Also, Zeke, you've just basically given me more bits tonight than I think I've had since I got affiliate. <laughs> so, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, okay, let's do that.
Ooh, it blocked it. Block this, mofo. Haha. <laughs> well, see, that's the thing. I got affiliate back in June or April. Somewhere around there. <laughs> yeah, absorb Gimbu. Let's see what it does. Fang Crush. No, that's not a bad one. I just generally don't have a lot of traffic on my channel, which, you know, I'm not the type that's going to beat myself up over that. I'm playing games and letting people watch if they want to. I'm not in this... Ooh, Twin Sword. I'm not in this to make ridiculous, you know, with the goal of, you know, making it big and quitting my job and doing this full time. No, 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 that's not, that's not me. I got affiliate just so people, because people were saying, Man, I wish you could take bits. I'd give you some bits. Well, now they can. <laughs> okay. So, actually, I'm going to do a full save here, because it's about the right time for me to split the recording. There we go.